Passport bros, men who are moving overseas in pursuit of love. Now, why is this an issue? And why is it so trendy right now? Yeah, we got to talk about it because a bunch of people messaged us and were like, hey, fun bros, what are you going to talk about passport bros? So I had to look it up and I had to understand that basically there was a group of guys who moved from America to Latin America in search of love, in search of building a better family, women with more traditional values. And they started a bunch of TikTok and YouTube accounts based around this concept. Since then, the concept has become so popular that it, that that passport bros was not just for that group of guys, but almost just like an all-encompassing terms for just a movement that some American men are buying into. Basically, it's not a new thing, but the branding is new. Now there's an actual name for it. Yeah, I know growing up, Andrew, people at our church or people in the Asian community have always been going back to Asia, whether it was their motherland country or like a country nearby to find a wife. But I guess like that was viewed differently, right? Because your parents or maybe even you were born in Asia. Yeah, and it also just made sense because it's your country of origin or you had roots in that country. But now there's a lot of guys who are moving to different countries, like a lot of Latin American countries, and they don't have roots from there. Right. They're not Latin American, but they're moving there because they feel like there's a, for a number of reasons, and we're going to get into it. But anyways, they're moving there for love. Yeah, and I believe a that life. Latin America America, Southeast Asia, and Eastern Europe are the top three destinations, but it could be anywhere else in the world. Right. So uh, I want to real quickly talk about the three different styles because uh, uh, we've heard about this concept for a while, and we even know some people who have who, who have taken trips or, or moved across the seas or whatever it is. Yeah, and I think that this is, by the way, I want to say this is specifically a 2023 version of this. Bruce Lee was in the 1970s was already going back and forth between the East and the West, so we're not referring to just like being a fob traveling back and forth. We're talking about men, Andrew, that are looking for true love and appreciation after exhausting themselves in the American market. Number two, maybe men seeking women with more traditional values. You know, different countries and different societies are at different levels of economic development, societal development, capitalism, late stages, early stages, mid stages, mm -hmm. late, late stages. People, number three, Andrew, there are men that are just seeking fun and hookups and I guess like a party type of lifestyle. Yeah, and this would be more of the frowned upon style of being a passport bro or as some people on the internet call a sex pat. But basically, like, yeah, this is like the more, the one that has the bad connotation. The other ones are more built in with a little bit more like true intentions of being like, hey man, you know, I don't like my dating options in America and there's a lower cost of living over there. I can live a nice life and I can find true love. But Andrew, why would anybody leave the tier S1 country America, the country that everybody wants a visa to get PR yeah. or green cards in to come to America? Why would anybody leave this S tier country to non S tier yeah. countries? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so a lot of the criticism is right off the bat Okay, and not all women are saying this, but there's obviously a lot of women who are criticizing these right. guys. The contentious nature of the internet. Being like, yeah, of course. It's, it's not really a man versus woman thing, but yeah. Anyways, that's how it seems like. Anyways, they're like, oh, you guys are losers. You guys can't pull in America. You guys don't have, uh, you guys are not considered very attractive. You don't have good jobs. Right. And that's why you don't have as many dating options as you would like in America. So you have to go over to a easier market, you know, or you have to go meet women who more value what you can bring to the table as a man financially and I, things like that. I will that. say it's kind of interesting to see women, and usually guys used to say this to other guys growing up, to look, women, to look at a guy and go, you get no women's. That's why you got to go, <laughs> yeah. you L. But I guess for this video, Dave, I don't want to talk about like, there's always like been, you know, people who just can't get any love in America who go overseas. Dude, but what about the people? Pop stars have been doing I, it forever. Like, if you were an Asian pop star, you had to go back to Asia because you weren't going to get no love in the American pop industry. But obviously, that was, that was not on a micro level. That was an industry thing. But I want to talk about men who seem like solid men in America. Men who you look at and you meet and be like, yeah, you could live a good life right. in America. Or, How or maybe they've even been married or yeah. had multiple relationships in America, but they're still choosing to, to seek things abroad, right? Yes. Now, now we have some friends that I know some guys who are have relationships with Dude, women are you abroad. saying you're friends with passport bros? No. <laughs> no, I do know some uh, Chinese dudes who married Russian women or, or uh, you know, Kazakhstan or whatever, right, Latin right, America. Right. But I guess what I'm saying is like, these are normal guys. These are not like losers. No, they have guys. good jobs. Yeah. yeah. And they're not like bad looking or anything like that, but they just are looking for something else overseas. So I think that's what I want to pick apart. We got to talk about that. Well, what are the reasons that you're hearing on the internet? But obviously they, they are, there has to be some potential credence to these because it's such yeah. a large movement. Yeah. And it's such a large movement. That's why we have to delve into this guys. It's not just like 10 guys did this, like <laughs> 10,000, like, like a lot of guys are talking about this. So, uh, so, uh, 
the reasons range. They're ranging from, you know, they feel like American women are spoiled by the top 20% of men. We'll get into that later. Uh, they're sick of the direction that America's going in economically. They seek women with more traditional values, feeling like Americanized women don't hold those traditional values of the past, maybe like, you know, right. 30 years ago. They feel like they will get a bump in an overseas market uh, and that maybe women over there are not as judgmental of their looks or status. Or maybe they just have a different look standard yeah. that they might fit into better of that standard. Yeah, uh, maybe they find women overseas in certain countries more attractive. Attractive, period. Um, okay. The cost of living is lower in a lot of these countries, so your money can stretch. Maybe you're a work-from-home guy. You have a bunch of money saved up. Your you work on the computer. You trade stocks. You don't have to pay New York rent. You don't have to pay New York, SF, LA, Seattle rent. Um, also, maybe they have some baggage from back home. They want to start new. They're a divorcee, whatever. And maybe they can just... They just want to be in a different environment. They feel like they can add to the local culture or whatever, you know? Yeah, and I think, dude, one thing that I want to say is, like, a lot of people have been doing this for a long time, not just guys looking for love. Like, there's a bunch of Americans and even, like, married couples moving to Mexico City, Tulum, Lisbon, Portugal mm. right now. Like, a lot of people, think about it. Every time there's a new president, everybody always threatens to move to Canada. Yeah. But obviously, I guess the connotation is different when it's guys and potentially some of them are going to start media channels dissing the women in their old country. Yeah, right? That's I, the issue. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Are people just becoming immigrants again? In a way, but usually when you immigrate to America, you're coming from a place that is considered a country that is not as strong. Right, right. system-wise, right, right. Or yeah, or economically or not as strong. Wise. That's why you're going to the stronger country for better opportunities. Now, it's funny, you're... America is still the strongest country, but you're leaving America to go to a country that is economically not as strong, but for better life opportunities. Yeah, so I that's think why it's different. At the end of the day, for me, this just boils down to international arbitrage. And I, for me, I don't really view it as any different when you apply it to just like, the, the, the metric that they're looking for to increase is love. Mm. You know, to me, it's not any different. You know, some people, they move for economics. Some people move for religious persecution, uh. freedoms. You know what I mean? Like different people value different things in their life, right? Right, right, right. So you're saying now love is just moving up the list of reasons why people are moving for that reason. Right. I guess if you're in America, theoretically, one way you could look at it is that you're in an S1 tier late stage capitalism economy. What do you have now but those last stages of Maslow's hierarchy of needs of uh, actualization and yeah. stuff like that? Plus, obviously, this whole thing has existed since the 1950s, 60s, Andrew. What about, like, foreign soldiers that were stationed in, like, uh, international American uh, military Okinawa, bases? Yeah, right? anyways. Um, all right, so here's the controversial part, David. This has become a man versus woman thing where the women on the internet, not all women, just the women on the internet leaving comments, they're like, oh, you guys are losers. You guys can't right. make it in America. And then the men are clapping back and be like, well, women uh, in America, they're lacking traditional values. They all just want to do OnlyFans and do this and this. And they're getting spoiled on these trips and stuff. And you guys just want, uh, you guys make well, too the, much the, money. You yeah, don't need men. I think, yeah, different specific people could have different arguments. But what you just listed off were like probably the two Man. ones you see the most. Yeah, those are the most fiery arguments. Um, I would say this part of it is, isn't, aren't, aren't they both right to some extent for some members of the other group, but not all members of the other group. Like some of the passport bros are definitely going to be problematic. Just like any humans that, that move anywhere for higher leverage or greener pastures, they're not all like great people. There's a distribution, yeah, right? Some sure. people are middle tier oh, yeah. people, average people. Some people are really good people. Some people are bad people. Mm -hmm. So I guess that would be my thing to, to, to say the variance part in terms of like, yeah, there are bad passport bros for sure. Oh, yeah, and then maybe, sure. I guess on the women's side, I, I guess, is that just a perception of society? Or would you agree that there is certainly a rift between men and women right now in American society because possibly the issues have shifted so quickly? Yeah, I mean, we talk about this on our channel, how the world has shifted very quickly, especially like, for example, for a lot of like, white people or white males in America, they feel like the world changed very quick on them. Yeah, they feel like the it. political narrative is against them yeah, right now. You know, right? as a minority man, I already knew, like, this is not the country that fully sees me as fully equal in this country, I guess. So I guess my expectations are a little bit different. But yes, I can see that uh, things change quickly. So maybe if you're a guy who you're looking and you wanted women to kind of act like, you know, how maybe your mom did back like 30 years ago, 40 years You're ago. You're talking about with the 1960s values, Yeah, right? 1970s values even. Um, um, yeah, I, I could see that things are missing from that, right? From what, from right. what you're used to. And then there, there's to. a whole debate about do men inherently in their genetics more go with the old ways or the new ways? I don't yeah. know, man. I mean, I, these discussions, there's like literally entire YouTube channels that drop videos every day about yeah. this topic. And here's another one is like, uh, another point here is like, 
there's leftover men and women on either side. Are you referring to the Shang Wu? Yeah, yeah, in China, they, yeah, they, 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 I think this is like really where the term actually comes from. But however, there's like leftover men and women in America, but those leftover people don't want to date each other. So what I mean by leftover is I'm saying like, for example, there's a decent looking woman who worked very hard in her career. She moved up, she dated a little bit and stuff like that, but she's like maybe 35 years old. She's getting a little bit older, old enough where now she has to make that decision if she's going to start a family at this point, right? right? And maybe she doesn't. So she just has pets and dogs and dates and whatever, right? But but she's maybe not going to start a family at this point. So I guess some people would label her as like a leftover woman, like a little too old to start a family with. Right. Some people for sure in society, definitely not saying that you yeah. are if you do yeah, that. Yeah. But that's just a more modern that's the archety- perception it's of a it. more modern archetype in society that the proportion of people who fit that archetype has increased over time. Yeah. And then there's obviously the portion of guys who maybe... For whatever reason, maybe it's themselves or they're awkward or something. Or they're maybe, low value. They're, they're difficult, low value to, guys. They're difficult to deal with. They're uh, unstable. They can't commit. Who knows? Stubborn guys, you know, not. Uh, so you're saying the leftover they, people of both groups definitely are not going to link up. They're to not chip, matching right. up. Well, but, I guess from what I've seen, and I'll tell you this. Uh, I've seen people in both situations. And I've seen the person that's over 35 that's a single mother with like kids or two kids. All b- Both of them have gone overseas. But you know what I notice is when the guys go overseas potentially there's more of an intention of creating a family. Whereas women are just like, well, I already got my kids back home. I'm just like going overseas for fun. Yeah. 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 And here's the thing. So because more men are leaving to be passport bros and there's way more passport bros than passport girls. Right. So that means there technically should be an imbalance because, because if men and women are 50, 50 in society, as far as population wise, then more men are leaving then where does it leave, like, I guess a certain portion of yeah. women? Yeah, and it, I think it could vary even per community as well, right? right? Because now, America's I, so diverse. I don't know if the number of men leaving is actually significant enough to throw things off, but I just know that this is a trend and it's probably going to continue. Uh, moving on, Andrew, somebody, uh, a girl, this is an argument that's very on the pro-female side, by the way, not saying all females feel there was a, this way. Are the men just smurfing? But in real life, smurfing, I guess, is a gaming term where somebody who's like, let's say, for example, a ranked 82 player, out of 100 level goes and plays with like the people who are ranked 25 so they could be like a top tier, you know, uh, the best player in that in that class. I guess we, in a sports term, it would be like people who are in the NBA now moving overseas to play in the CBA or Euro League or even- Dwight the, Howard in Taiwan. The or NBL, like yeah, the Australian League. When they can't really compete at the NBA level or the American level anymore, they go overseas- so that they can but they still, can still play be an MVP, right? Yeah, and do- and pretty much dominate essentially. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it just it goes, goes back to the arbitrage thing, man. Different environments, like depending on what type of Pokemon you are and what stage of evolution in your Pokemon you are, there's just different environments I- that cater to different animals. You know, land, yeah. sea, uh, air. <laughs> I think just a question, I guess, and if if you're someone who feels strongly about this, I think a question I would ask is just like, you know, a lot of these guys, not all of them, but a lot of these men doing this seem like rational men. I guess why would so many rational, decent men feel the need to move out of America to another country that is perhaps not as developed as America to live a better life? That's because they just want to explore the patriarchy (laughs) In a country where they're lower on the growth may, development may, curve, Maybe, right? maybe. That's no. Theoretically. No, yeah. seriously, maybe that's the reason. But I guess it's a little different for every guy, but maybe. You know what I'm saying? So I guess we got to ask this question. I guess- Let us know what because, you think in the comment section below, because I'm sure, and by the way, try to keep it civil in the comment yeah. section, because I think for me, I always use this term, Andrew, and I actually think it came from the deal websites, YMMV. Your mileage may vary. You mean slickdeals.net? Yeah, yeah, yeah. slickdeals.net. <laughs> it came from copping TVs with like three coupons. I think like your mileage may vary is so applicable nowadays because it's very difficult to make generalized assumptions about anybody because America is so diverse. The desires are so diverse. The, 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 the fundamental cards that somebody is, is playing with or dealt or perceived to have are so diverse. Why MMV? All right. So even you're saying... Even if you are a guy and you move overseas to, let's just say, Latin America, and you have all these expectations about the women there and the traditionalness and the life that you're going to have, it might not be like what your friend got or the guy that's on YouTube got, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that they're for sure, I mean, they have like an established culture and a system that they run over there, but where you're going to fit into that in a micro sense 
is very Who different, knows, right? Right. Yeah, that's like uh, we both got traded from the Brooklyn Nets, but like you know, uh, Marcus Moore is getting treated different than KD. I don't know. Or the TJ I, Warren. My my overall ending takeaway for me is just that you know, there's nothing wrong with guys doing this because they're not hurting anybody as long as they're not hurting people when they go over to the other country and they're not messing around right if they're treating everybody with respect technically there's nothing wrong because you're just exercising your freedoms you're using your american passport to go to any different country right and and feel love and feel appreciated if that's the reason why right but i think that part of the issue is when you dump on like women in America or American culture, then obviously those people are going to feel very offended. Now, I don't know what your point is. If, if your goal is to change the culture in America and try to push back right. on it because you don't like where, how it's changing or, or not. Or well, just I would imagine that it's not to change it because they feel like they're just escaping a, a game map that they don't like how it's changed for them. Maybe, yeah. Maybe they think they're escaping a sinking ship. Yeah, that's true. Who knows, man? Let's get real quick, Andrew. I want to get into some common, like, arguments about the details of being a passport bro real quick. By the way, not endorsing this, by the way. Andrew, do you think if you go overseas to a country that's not as uh, high status as America, you might be just used for your status? Like, that's possible, for sure. Yeah, it's possible, but I don't think it's for sure either. Yeah, because I, mean, I think that perceived higher status could play into attraction as dude, well. Dude, I like mean, it, well, at the end of the day, people get married for all different types of reasons. And some of the reason is like, hey, you provide a better life yeah. for this person and in America would, or in that country. Would you agree that marriages outside of America, for the most part, are more like taking the math into equation rather yeah. than just like romantic I've, lust and stuff? It's like more mathematical. The algorithms tend to be more practical overseas. I believe that. I've heard it be called that a little bit more traditional and possibly and not in a negative way transactional. But anyways, um, what do you think about traditional gender roles? Is it true that these guys, passport bros, are going to find more traditional gender roles overseas? Probably. In, I can't say for every country and every woman, right? But yeah, I guess there is probably more. That seems like that would be an that's more of the status quo. Trend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, somebody says, but aren't overseas women wanting to be modernized in a sense of like mimicking whatever the other people don't like about America? Like, for example, there's these traits about America, whether they're viewed as good or bad, that, that won't they just eventually get there anyway? Like, won't these other countries eventually strive for that? Yeah. And I actually disagree with that because if you look at Japan, Japan is also economically highly, highly, highly developed and they have very different cultural norms there. So it's not like, uh, I don't fully believe in that, like, Oh, yeah, just once everybody makes $50,000 a year in a country, they all just become like America. Um, well, I think it is important to note that oftentimes, I would say passport bros, they are not always going to the biggest, most international city because any international city in any, like, decent-sized country is probably going to have, at least in that city, have more, more globalized similar culture, right? globalized culture, which is um, going to be more based off of American culture. Right, because American culture is so dominant globally. Yeah. Um, and then uh, somebody said, but doesn't it matter who you are a lot? Like, won't they only want white guys over there? <laughs> that's, what, that's what I read. Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of YouTube channels of, of Asian guys and Indian dudes and all types of people that are, like, black guys that are going overseas. So, uh I'm sure could that change. I probably could shift depending on what country you're in. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure depending on the country and the person you meet and I guess how good looking of a person you are and how much you have to provide for them is probably maybe even the biggest factor. But why MMV? Yeah, that's what I it's think. It's not man. all the same, guys. Anyways, guys, let us know in the comments down below. Have you heard of this term or have you heard of this kind of action of like, uh, and it's particularly men seeking love overseas, right? Yeah. By the way, women don't do this quite as often. Um, and so I guess like, let us know what you think about this whole thing. And what you think about the branding Passport Pro? Is, is it getting out of hand? Are guys just giving up too early in America? Are they too weak? Or is the game hopeless and stacked against you? You let let us know, know in the comment section below, guys. Keep the discussion civil. You guys know the Hop Hop Boys discussing things frivolous to serious. Till next time, we out. Peace. Peace.